Welcome to our next business tips short video. Heading into May brings us a key deadline. IX applications must be submitted by the 17th of May. Remember, there is currently an agri-environment climate scheme open. Check out the Rural Payments website or contact your local advisor to find out which options may be available to you. Keep watching for the next part of our video, Acquiring Land Through Purchase. I'm Laura Henderson, an agriculture consultant with SEC Consulting based in Elgin. Today I'm going to give a brief overview of things to consider when buying land. Farmland for sale can be advertised on land agent websites and their social media pages, so be sure to follow them. Onthemarket.com and UKLandandFarms.co.uk are also good places to search. However, some land never goes on the open market, so it is advisable to register your interest with local land agents to let them know what you are looking for, your maximum budget and what your financial position is. For example, are you a cash buyer or subject to sale? Land agents will then alert you to any suitable opportunities in the area. There is a shortage of land on the market throughout the UK, meaning land values have risen significantly in recent decades. Some of the factors influencing land values include grade and therefore productive capacity, soil type, previous land management, location, access, neighbours, diversification opportunities, potential for renewables, ability to let out the farm. But values for marginal land are underpinned by forestry and carbon sequestration, which may outcompete many agricultural purchasers. Once you have found land you wish to buy, you will instruct your lawyer to put in an offer. It is advisable to use a lawyer that is experienced in rural or agricultural land transactions. Your lawyer will then receive a qualified acceptance, undertake buyer's diligence, negotiate the missus and register the title. This whole process can take around three to six months, but having funding in place beforehand can remove some of the hurdle. Although, don't forget to factor in the lawyer's fee, valuation fees and advisor fees, such as those for writing business plans to secure finance. To summarise, you need to build a trusted network with your agricultural advisor, land agent, banker or broker, lawyer and accountant, as each one of these professionals are key to the path of buying land. Register with a land agent and look at every opportunity as perseverance can be off. Land values are highly variable and remember the hidden costs. If you have any queries about buying land, please contact the Farm Advisory Service by phone or email.